I'm here to announce the completion of our withdrawal from Afghanistan and the end of the military mission to evacuate American citizens, third country nationals, and vulnerable Afghans. I'm here to announce the completion of our withdrawal from Afghanistan and the end of the military mission to evacuate American citizens, third country nationals, and vulnerable Afghans. The last C-17 lifted off from Hamid Karzai International Airport on August 30th this afternoon at 3.29 p.m. East Coast time. And the last manned aircraft is now clearing the airspace above Afghanistan. Look, there's a lot of heartbreak associated with this departure. We did not get everybody out that we wanted to get out. But I think if we'd stayed another 10 days, Louis, we wouldn't have gotten everybody out that we wanted to get out. And there still would have been people who would have been disappointed with that. It's a it's, it's a tough situation. And on the last airplane out was uh, General Chris Donahue, the commander of the 82nd Airborne Division, and my ground force commander there. And he was accompanied by our, our charge A, Ambassador Ross Wilson. So they came out together. So the state uh, defense team came out on the last aircraft and were, in fact, the last people to stand on the ground, step on the airplane. As of today, we've suspended our diplomatic presence in Kabul and transferred our operations to Doha, Qatar, which will soon be formally notified to Congress. Given the uncertain security environment and political situation in Afghanistan, it was the prudent step to take. Every step we take will be based not on what a Taliban-led government says, but what it does to live up to its commitments. The Taliban seeks international legitimacy and support our message is any legitimacy and any support will have to be earned. If an American in Afghanistan tells us that they want to stay for now and then in a week or a month or a year they reach out and say, I've changed my mind, we will help them leave. Additionally, we've worked intensely to evacuate and relocate Afghans who worked alongside us and are at particular risk of reprisal. We've gotten many out, but many are still there we will keep working to help them. Our commitment to them has no deadline.